Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another video or another episode of FIFA Korea Mode. And today we'll be taking on in the Europa League round of I don't know, round of 16 against PSV, a Dutch side. And this is their lineup. Uh, very beautiful graphics in the uh, Europa League. And yeah, coming to this game again, it is whether. Uh, is whether choosing Europa League or uh, Premier League but you know it's hard to tell even though for the Premier League I think we have like 15 or 17 games left something like that actually you know what less than that less than that but at one point we got to decide whether we want to you know put uh, a whole resources in Europa League or Premier League but again it could change time uh, time to time we gotta play like one game at a time to uh you know to to determine whether we are worth going to uh you know going all the way in europa league but anyway here's our lineup four four one one so uh, a lot of change uh, not a lot of changes actually compared to the uh um regular premier league side and right here um angus gun gathers the ball throw a cannon to uh, Paredes and right now we're hitting a counter attack here here's a beautiful lob through ball to Eberici as nobody's catching him at one point he just half folly it and pow powered that through the goalkeeper and we're one nothing a hit and here's Metoric starting from the back again from the goalkeeper and Paredes again a nice lob through ball to Danny James on the left hand side he's going on his own here passes in the middle to Aparici Ez and he has been super super fantastic for us a brilliant form which uh, making a 2 nothing lead and that's what I love to see and here's Aparici Ez again through ball to Mario Lamina took a shot but this time the goalkeeper makes a fine save to deny the third goal and here's um, second half for the eighth minute here's Dohody a through ball to Hassan Oda great through ball crosses in the middle to Danny James but big disappointment there should have scored should have scored there or put like buried that game as soon as possible and here's Lamina crossing in the middle Danny James this time the goalkeeper makes another great save and Danny James should have scored twice there and again here's uh, PSV and here's uh, Boscal Boscali on the left hand side uh, not as uh, the market was quite bad but anyway it went out heads up for a uh, goal kick and here's Hassan Nodoy again we are using the advantage of the loft through ball and in the end Paulson it's there to make it three nothing it's a pretty comfortable game so far here's joe gomez back to stuart armstrong want to take a finish i uh blocks by the defender but uh danny inks almost score there and that's how the game ends we believe um three nothing away against psv which give us a huge advantage when we are uh, back at home and uh, here is the game against Wolves and I am excited to see Agent Festegard again I don't know if he is even on in this game but uh oh yeah he's there right there hopefully he's gonna do us some good goodies you know help us to win again in 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 a way you know not too not too obvious but again here is um here's a lineup for Wolves playing a 5-3 to formation again it's a very unconventional formation and here's our lineup angus gunn back in the lineup dahody gomez up mancano taylor morris hassan odoi james Watt prowse paredes nathan redmond eberici as and also paulson and you can see right here i have been using a lot of taylor morris you know knowing that um knowing that ryan bertrand uh, even though we extend his contract but he will be moving into a rotation uh, rotation squad row there and yep yeah, right there uh, at Perucci as open uh, open the score one nothing there with a great cross and great header as well 
and yeah Taylor Morris again he is going to be a big part of my future even though he has a pretty slow slow play pace but you know what we can we can train that to somewhat because currently he's 65 or 67 not fast at all but yeah we can get him to a, at least 75 or 80 because as a Premier League uh, playing in the Premier League again you gotta have that kind of pace there here's Angus Gunn Again, starting our attack from the back. Here's Upamecano to Nathan Redman. Here's Paredes and to Aparici Ez. So far going a uh, doing very good form, but turns out not a bad effort there. And it's James Watt Prowse, one touch football. Uh, Paredes to James Watt Prowse. Took a shot, but I thought he scored there, but turns out, oh, you know what? Turns out it was a penalty again. Agent Festegaard, it's on again with a very, very good, not, you know, not the brightest tackle, but thank you very much. Right now we have a penalty because of him and this is a chance for us to extend the lead to 2 nothing. Again, James Watt Prowse is taking the penalty. He is brilliant in all kinds of set pieces and trying to go for the top right, but Patricio makes a fantastic save to deny the second goal. Unfortunately, he's uh, and not long after that, not long after the penalty, Wolves came back with another goal. The equalizes one one. He's James Ward Prowse. Might be the one to be blamed. And here's Paredes back to James Ward Prowse. Took a fix shot. Goes around defender. And finally, he redeemed himself by scoring a. Brilliant solo goal, and here's a. Uh, oh, I thought we could go for the uh, counter attack. Is Mayoroy? Oh, and um, guess what? We conceded in the last minute, which I was kind of pissed right there. And that's how the game ends, two two, and we are, we can't be drawing or we can't be drawing this kind of games anymore. You know, again, Europa League or top four. It's the same situation as Arsenal last year, but you know what? We got to play one game at a time, but right now we are going to focus on here. PSV again at home, but certainly this is going to be a quite comfortable match. Again, not, I mean, we did a lot of changes here because, you know, go, come into this game with a three nothing lead, especially we have three away goals. And we're playing at home, so we might be doing the the good tier, the D tier, by you know resting a lot of players, getting ready for them to uh, to play in the Premier League. You know, put all all the focus there. And here's PSV lineup four, three, three. A very conventional formation, but for our formation, we just made a lot of changes, resting players. Here's Stuart Armstrong to Fallery on the right hand side. And here's the through ball, great through ball to Danny James. I don't know why he's right there. He should be playing on the left side, but it doesn't matter. He scored the first goal. Seems like we are ready to go into the quarterfinal after this game. Here's Stuart Armstrong, great through ball to Daniel James. Again, using his pace, he's like 98 pace, I'm telling you. He's really quick. Uh, cuts right back in and somehow landed right in front of Danny Ings and finally he get himself in the score sheet again he hasn't been in the score sheet for quite a while but I'm glad he's back he uh, is Danny Ings once again a through ball to Ismaili Saar on the right hand side nobody's gonna catch him crosses in the middle to Danny James but good save by the goalkeeper once again you know we need more players in the middle even though yeah we saw like four players are storming in into the box but you know what that's a bit late we need somebody who's actually in the middle and here's Aparici as try to chip over the goalkeeper but good effort but anyway he misses that and here is a PSV doing counter attack here Talese to Danilo and to number 25 and we made a mistake at the back and we have to pay the debt right there and we can see the one goal but it really doesn't matter on the aggregate we are 5-1 so far and here's Aparici as putting a nice through ball by uh, Bradley Mitchell he's by himself he could have you know squares in the middle to uh, Danny Ings but 
and yeah and right here Bradley Mitchell doing a fantastic job just winning balls back in the middle and there's Danny Ings a chip ball to Aparici as and right there he could have scored another wonderful goal I mean a, a good chemistry goal you can see between Aparici as and also uh, Danny Ings and here is the uh, number 25 PSV took a shot but uh, I think McCarthy this time makes a fantastic save here's number 25 again to uh, number 25 once again take a shot it hits the post and uh, luckily they didn't score and that's how the game ends 2-1 winning on a 5-1 aggregate and we are a fans to the next round which is the uh, quarterfinal I believe quarterfinals round 16 mm, I forgot and here's the uh, monthly squad report Max Koch and also Bradley White but both of them uh, seems like unlikely to get caught up soon but anyway this is the um, this is the this is the fixture this month and you know you can see we are playing against Chelsea in the round of round 16 or quarterfinal and right here we're playing Wolves again after like after you know one game facing them but this time in the FA Cup we got to do well in this game for sure and here is the uh, lineup for us as you guys can see on the screen uh, yeah we made a couple of change uh, well, actually we made yeah a couple of changes here at Parici as sticking in the lineup but anyway it's the same regular Premier League lineup yeah 4-4-1-1 four, four, one, one Paulson leading lineup and here is uh, Wolves lineup and finally they're not putting Festegaard in the uh, in the uh, in the starting row anymore since he has been doing terribly um, against us every time so you know what uh, it's a good thing that Wolves make that kind of a move and here's the first chance to hoodie against his former club to Paredes to uh, Aparici as yeah, good turn by James Watt Prowse but you know what a good turn gives you a good goal in the end is reason to Catrone uh, still going by him so looking for support here to uh, on the right hand side is Catrone once again through ball to Jimenez but this time good save by Angus Gunn to guide the, to guard the near post here's Jimenez Raul Jimenez oh, skip past the middle he's actually a very dangerous player he's a very talented striker and here's Jimenez once again but this time Joe Gomez couldn't close him down and Raul Jimenez equalizes the game 1-1 one, one. he still hoodie to uh, to Paulson to Paredes he threw ball to Aparici S and this guy Aparici S is on five four goals already in this episode and he's just doing a fantastic job he's Aparici S threw ball to Paulson on the right hand side in the box across in the middle nobody gets there he's James Watt proud all by himself take a shot but this time Ruddy makes a fantastic save but unfortunately right here it gets fouled by uh, this player number 27 look at this once again is yeah it's definitely outside the box so James Ward Prowse is taking another brilliant set pieces here last time he missed the penalty and this time can you score this free kick and yes he can the beautiful beautifully taken free kick right there uh it's just a shot to the top right corner and here's uh uh Joachim I, I don't know Joachim, why Joachim was that far and Joachim couldn't mark the player and we are 3-2 they got one back so far Anderson hasn't has the greatest game for Southampton so far every time you he, he come uh, every time he came on we just conceded a lot of goals and here's Hudson Odoi he comes back inside the Aparici S but this time Ruddy makes a fantastic save here's in 73 minutes we cannot be losing this game from a 3-1 up use uh, says to uh, Jimenez again to Catrone and right there uh, brilliant individual skills but not great of a finisher in the end and that's how the game ends 3-2 it was a very very nerve-wracking game at the end and yeah we uh, we offense to round round six this time and you can see Anderson right there you know he must be sweating throughout the whole game because uh, he has been making a lot of mistake but anyway Aparici as my man uh, He's just great. He's just great. Uh, it's a pretty cheap price to get him from QPR. 
and right now he's writing a legacy here but uh yeah and that's this episode i hope you guys enjoyed this episode like this video subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next one